Alex said before, my name is Tiago, and I'm part of the program committee of this year's edition of the uh, Kubernetes AI Day Europe. I'm a FinOps Foundation Ambassador for Brazil, and alongside my company, my mission is making complex forecast applications into prediction for the Brazilian public sector. Fraud is a huge issue for us. Brazil responds uh, to more than 45% of credit card fraud that happens in the whole world. Uh, besides football, frauding is like our second national sport. And without a uh, scalable solution supported by Kubernetes, it would be impossible to even start any kind of countermeasure. Uh, I'm going to stay on some topics that, is, that are still relevant in my opinion. Uh, because last year we had some, some, some technical issues. Uh, but it's, uh, first of all, it's nonetheless a pleasure to uh, represent this engaging community and to be able uh, to participate in the planning and organization of such an amazing event. And of, uh, and of course, actually see it happen and be part, even uh, interacting with uh, people from miles away. Uh, it, was, it is quite interesting to see the discussion focusing on science and scientific methods and how this approach brings an inclusive view on technology. In a world that we live in of so much doubt and questioning technology, a world of fake news, it's quite comforting to see how science is an ally to technology and can change this general feeling and perception. Uh, so here goes. Um, I thank you to all the speakers, uh, and could there ever be a time in the history of our community when the responsibilities of this conference would be so significant or the expectations of it would be greater than now? Uh, the last couple of years have brought enormous disruption uh, to how people, organizations, and technology behave, and we will likely to see this continue. Uh, demand patterns are changing as consumers worldwide reduce spending. Uh, companies are becoming challenged to create more capacity uh, to take on innovation without introducing high costs or waste. So how can ML stay resilient and effective when model assumptions are based on behaviors that are no longer prevailing? Uh, Kubernetes AI Day become more than ever a place where people can discuss new ways to focus on problem solving in a consistent and a scalable way in the face of uncertainty. Uh, like any transformative technology, AI carries risks and presents challenges along several dimensions. So always, remembers to, uh, always remember to stand up for what's right. Uh, the last couple of years have been challenging of many levels and organizing a, a hybrid event last year was not an easy task, uh, but I can proudly say uh, this uh, last year's event and this year's event will prove that our community truly shines on personal interaction and open, ex and open exchanges and will keep uh, growing bigger and stronger. Uh, and of course, it's remarkable uh, that KubeCon and Cloud Native Compute Foundation have found the technical ways to make it happen, uh, even uh, through the, 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 the pandemics. Uh, so I would like to thank everyone who worked hard to make this conference possible and to participants to being part, engaging, asking questions and making an incredible day. As Pedro Domingos once said, Homo sapiens is the species that adapt the world to itself instead of adapting itself to the world. So I hope man and machine can work together to adapt the world to create a more inclusive future. I want to finish this, gather, uh, this, this opening remarks by quoting uh, Mahi Kuhi. Uh, Nothing in life is to be feared, only to be understood. Now it's time to understand more so that we may fear less. Thank you very much and enjoy your day.